My name is I'm 30 years of age, I've got two children and I'm here for three months at the House of Healing. <clears throat> the reason why I'm here is because of uh, domestic violence and I was brought here and I'm here ever since. Imagine you came from a place reported to have one of the world's highest incidences of violence against women and children. I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 Now turn. We are used of of the situation that's going on. Oh, but all with the you uh, woman abuse, child abuse, and all that kind of thing, we 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 get along with it. My name is Hilton Gedold. And I'm his brother, Nathan, that we would like to put Atlantis yes. as a community on the map. Nathan and Hilton, along with 10 friends, will attempt a world first. This is where the tiki meets the tar. <laughs> Every time you hear something about Atlantis on, on TV or you read something about it in the newspapers, it's always, always something negative. You know, like the question is, can anything good come from Atlantis. They talk about alcoholism, drug abuse, um, rape, violence, and these things happen, but there's also on the other side, there's a lot of good things that actually takes place in Atlantis, but you never get to hear about it. Brothers Hilton and Nathan Gadol came into our studio to talk about this. Nathan is here. Nathan, how are you guys feeling? Um, very nervous, very excited, but I think we're going to do well today. Um, this is what we trained for, this is what we prepared for, so we're ready for this. Just going to ask Hilton just to say a quick prayer before we keep off. For those ladies whose voice have been a little bit silenced, we are basically saying we are amplifying your voice. As men, we are saying to other men that are abusing their ladies, listen, this is nonsense. Battling the elements, the Intrepid 12 will attempt to carry a woman on a stretcher from Cape Point home to Atlantis. Stuff, eh? Tide is coming in. We've got another about one hour left to get into the clear. 150 grueling kilometers with the aim of raising 100,000 rand for the House of Healing, pioneered by Barbara Rass. Never in my wildest dreams I thought that men will have the courage to do what they are doing and also changing my own perception about men. Only they're just ordinary guys. Not superheroes, and they have no idea what they've got themselves into. They didn't recruit superheroes. Yes. Um, they were all normal guys. Um, the guy on the street. I wouldn't say I come out of uh, out of poverty, um, but I don't see myself as a millionaire. And we were very skeptical at first. Yes. With some of the guys, the last time they actually um, saw the inside of a gym, I think was never. The best part, I managed to lose weight. <laughs> this is the adventure of a lifetime. Physically, there will be pain, but emotionally I will feel, I will feel ecstatic because it is something that we have achieved that I don't think a lot of people in their lifetime might achieve. And I will definitely, I will definitely cry. Um, I hope physically I'll still be able to feel my, my <laughs> legs. This is a story about walking the talk about standing up for what you believe in. But without pain, there can be no victory. 
I almost want to say that there will be people that want us to fail, right? But we, in our mindset, we must stand together and we must say, listen, come what may, whether it's rain, whether it's sunshine, whether it's whatever, we are going to push through. This idea of, of dropping out, you know, I would feel like a real loser. I got a message from my daughters. I don't want to disappoint them, I don't, I don't want to disappoint myself, and I don't want to disappoint the team and the cause we're fighting for. Feliz Nel Victory! No one is good. Just no one is good. A story about family and discovering what's most important. <laughs> so we basically say, I must you, Daddy. Say that, um, he's proud of his father. We are going to make it. We've, we've come too far to give up now. About finding out what it means to be a man. I don't think it's a, a shame as, as a man to, to cry. Okay. <laughs>